If you don't have these 10 Blender add-ons installed, you're killing your progress in this software. Today, I'll show you the Blender add-ons that are an absolute game-changer in your workflow and that you must install even if you're a newbie user. Each of these add-ons you'll find scattered throughout the hundreds or even thousands of videos on the internet about Blender, and I took it upon myself to compile them for you, so you can save yourself all the time I lost in discovering them. Welcome to CG Taurus. Buckle up and get ready to revolutionize your Blender journey because we're starting. Loop Tools is a super versatile add-on that provides us with a wide range of functions to work with vertex, edge, and face loops. We can access it simply by right-clicking in edit mode. With this add-on, we can easily connect two geometry loops using the bridge tool, allowing us to modify the cuts in the shape of the connection to achieve curves and arcs. Additionally, with the circle option, we can generate a loop of vertices shaped like a circle or any regular polygon. It's useful for creating rounded or curved shapes and quickly integrating loops into a mesh. We can also select either a complete face loop or just a few faces. Any selection you make works seamlessly with this tool. Then, we can flatten the selection along the axis of your choice using the flatten tool. This add-on has many more very useful tools, so I recommend exploring them when you install it. Node Wrangler is absolutely indispensable when it comes to maneuvering through Blender nodes, whether you're tinkering with materials or composing your scene. It's become an indispensable tool in my workflow, and I swear by its efficiency. One of the coolest things about Node Wrangler is its ability to automatically integrate texture sets and maps, letting you whip up shader texture combos with a snap of your fingers using the mix nodes. It even gives you quick previews of each element at your disposal and helps tidy up your node setup, keeping everything neat and organized. Accessing Node Wrangler's features is a breeze, especially once you've got the keyboard shortcuts down pat. I'll leave the documentation of this add-in in the description so you can learn all the shortcuts. This nifty add-on doesn't just stop at the shader editor, it's now lending its magic to the geometry nodes editor as well. Plus, it throws in some goodies from the compositor and simplifies a bunch of operations along the way. Trust me, once you dive into the world of Node Wrangler, there's no turning back. Easy HRDI is a fantastic add-on that streamlines the process of loading and testing your HDRI images in a snap. With this tool, you can effortlessly preview all the HDR images in any folder you select. It sets up the world nodes seamlessly, saving you time and hassle. Additionally, basic color adjustments like gamma, saturation, and tint are just a click away, allowing you to fine-tune your scene's atmosphere effortlessly. Plus, you can change the background without messing with your lighting setup giving you more creative control over your renders. With Easy HRDI, experimenting with HDRI images has never been easier. UV Squares is a groundbreaking add-on designed specifically for the UV editor, revolutionizing how you work with UV selections. Say goodbye to the hassle of manually aligning distorted UV shapes in Blender's UV unwrap process. With UV Squares, you can effortlessly reshape UV selections into a perfect grid, preserving the integrity of your object's geometry. This add-on respects both vertical and horizontal face ratios, ensuring that your UV selections maintain their shape and integrity. BlenderKit is an add-in that grants you access to the BlenderKit library directly from Blender. With it, you can tap into thousands of resources like models, materials, complete scenes, HDRI images, and brushes. I highly recommend this add-in due to its user-friendly interface and the versatility it offers. It's incredibly handy when you're striving to craft more intricate scenes and need to establish believable environments, and this add-in lets you do so with ease. This add-in comes in both free and paid versions, but the free version is more than sufficient, so no need to worry about that. Import Images as Planes Import Images as Planes is a highly useful feature provided by this add-on of the same name specifically designed to seamlessly integrate images into your scenes. Going beyond mere background references. Once installed, you can add your image from the Add menu. Choose your desired image file and click Import Images as Planes and voila! Your image is now part of the scene, fully editable and movable like any other object. This method closely resembles adding reference images but offers the added benefit of rendering the plane by default, enhancing your scene building capabilities. This add-on is going to supercharge your workflow by allowing you to seamlessly paste images from the clipboard to various areas within Blender. 
Whether you need a reference image for modeling or a texture for material creation, this add-on streamlines the process. Moreover, you can effortlessly copy images from Blender back to the clipboard for use in other applications like Photoshop. With this add-on, you'll never have to manually import your images again. This add-in is actually two add-ons that I consider very useful because they add extra objects with which we can start modeling without having to create them from scratch. Both add-ons are called Extra Object, but one is in the Mesh category and the other is in the Curve category. With these add-ons, we will have gears, stars, pipe joints, and curve profiles such as spirals, torus, arrows, among many others. So don't waste time creating these objects from scratch and install these add-ons. This add-in is very useful when performing Boolean operations between different shapes. Unlike the Boolean modifier, this add-in provides a better visualization of each cut we make, allowing us to interact with the cutting object and see at all times how it affects the mesh of the object being cut. Additionally, it offers a new feature called Slice, which creates a small cut according to the shapes used, separating the main geometry and allowing us to move both parts as individual objects. These features make working with Boolean operations much more dynamic, saving a lot of time when modeling. For this add-on, a bit of context is needed. FSPY is a free app that enables you to draw perspective lines on photos and calculate the camera position and focal length from it. The FSPY add-on allows you to import the configuration you've set in the FSPY app. This way, it creates a perfect camera setup to place 3D objects that will seamlessly fit with the photo. This add-in is extremely necessary when recreating scenes or environments and all you have is a photo of that space. If you are into doing this kind of work in Blender, I assure you that you won't regret installing it. Alright, I hope all these add-ons are really helpful for you. Trust me, your workflow will be greatly enhanced if you install them. And if you think I forgot to mention an important add-on, feel free to leave your comment down below in the comment box. Remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Catch you in the next one.